Today we're going to talk about the collision active error messages that happen with the 435X and 535AWD. And these are the ones that happen consistently. The mower will be sitting out in the middle of an open area, hasn't hit anything, you check it, the top cover is snapped down securely onto the joysticks, uh, nothing jamming up in the mower to cause this collision active to happen. You restart the mower and off it goes, and before you know it, you're getting a collision error again. And same thing, it hasn't hit anything, everything seems good to go, you restart it, off it goes, and before you know it, you're getting another collision error message. Well, we've heard about this error, we didn't actually get to experience it till here recently, and all of a sudden we had it happen on three or four mowers within a couple days. And uh, we're going to show you here in this video what we found. It's a very simple thing to check for and very simple part to replace but could save you a lot of headache and frustration if you're getting these collision active error messages. So let's take a look here at what we found. The first thing to check on an auto mower when it has a collision active error message is to make sure that the top cover is secured to the joystick sensors. So on the all-wheel drive auto mowers, you have to check the rear cover and you have to check the front cover. Both of these covers snap down over four joystick sensors each. So you have four in the front and you have four in the rear. So you want to lightly pull up on the top cover and see if it comes up higher than it does in one corner than it does the others. And you can set this up on a workbench or a table or something and watch in the wheel well and watch the actual joystick sensor move up and down when you pull up on the top cover to make sure it's connected and everything is working the way it should. Now, if you pull up too hard on the top cover, you're going to get a loud snap sound just like this, and you'll feel that top cover release off of the joystick sensor. And if you're looking in through the wheel well, then it's even more evident that, hey, you pulled a little too hard on that, and you unsnapped it. Now you need to snap it back onto that joystick sensor to make everything work okay. So that was just an example of when everything is working right, when everything is assembled right, and there are no issues with the bushings snapping over the joystick sensors for the top cover on the front cover or the rear cover on an all-wheel drive automower. Here is what you may find if you're having these constant collision error messages. Listen here as we pull up and down on this top cover on this all-wheel drive automower. You hear a click. It's not that pop sound like you would hear when you snap the top cover off the joystick sensor, but there's still a noise there. And so you look in at the joystick sensor and you see when you move the top cover up and down, joystick sensor moves up and down too. So you would figure everything must be good to go. It's connected, it's gotta be working right because the joystick sensor wouldn't move up and down if it wasn't connected to that top cover. So here's what was causing that issue that you just saw in that last clip. We have two bushings right here. These are the bushings that are used on the top cover to clip down onto the joystick sensors. The one on the right is a good bushing. The one on the left has the center poked out of it. So what happens here when the center is punctured on one of these bushings is that it allows the bushing to go down over the ball end of the collision sensor further than it should. So now the ball end is actually pushed the whole way up out of that bushing and, and through the outside of it. And when that happens, then it's going to push or pull or manipulate one of the other three sensors because everything is just not lined up the way it should be. You know, think if you sit down on a chair with a leg that is just slightly shorter than the others or there's something underneath one of the legs of a chair and you can get that kind of rocking back and forth, you know. Uh, diagonally between the legs. That's what you're going to have here between your four collision sensors when you have one of these with the center poked out of it. Now that being said, I will tell you that all of the ones that we found so far that had this issue, there were always two bushings that had this issue on the mowers that were given the constant collision error messages. And on all of them, it was for the joysticks for the front cover. Sometimes it was the bushings over the two front joysticks in the very front of the mower by the headlights. And a few times it was the ones in the back uh, of the top cover. But it was always either back or front. It was never both of them on the left or both of them on the right. So just something to keep in mind. And if you're wondering, well, 
okay, I look in there and I see this. What do I do to fix it? Well, it's a pretty simple procedure to fix this. Uh, you don't even really need any tools to do it. What you're going to do is just unsnap that top cover up off the joystick. And then you're going to be able to reach your hand in there and just kind of spin that bushing out of there. So with the old one out, now you're going to be able to slide your new bushing in there. And you can really just push these in by hand. And once you get it in there, I suggest giving a little spin around just to make sure it's in there and it's not going to fall out or anything. Then you're going to snap it down over the joystick and make sure to lift up on that chassis a few times. Make sure it's good and uh, snapped on there properly. So as you just saw in the video, this is something simple and easy to check. It's something simple and easy to replace and make the repair if this is the issue that's causing your collision active error messages on your 435X or 535 AWD auto You can get these bushings from our website www.roboticmowerservices.com If you're looking for any other automower parts that you don't see on our website or aren't sure what the proper parts are, you can shoot us an email at roboticmowerservices at gmail.com and we'll get you taken care of. So that's going to do it for this video. We hope you find this information helpful and useful. If you're an all-wheel drive automower owner, hopefully this helps solve your issues that you're having. Uh, if you have consistent collision error messages. As always, if you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out our website, www.roboticmowerservices.com. And thanks for watching.